we're here on the Far East Ridge of Tamarack Peak on a north facing aspect, uh, a little over 9,000 feet, about 9,300 feet. And we isolated, a, or we were isolating a propagation saw test um, and didn't finish cutting the entire block out when it failed. Um, it failed 160 centimeters down in the snowpack, with these being the slabs on our facet layer. It's now buried down here at the very bottom of the snowpack. You can see these nice, loose, large grains. Um, it also you can see the other slabs in the snowpack. Above the facet layer, we have a nice one finger hard slab um, with, with a, a few breaks in it, um, all the way up until this rain crust from yesterday. Just below that, we were getting some ECT failures, extended column test failures that propagated across right on this layer where it's a little bit softer just below the rain crust. Um, and then above that, we have the new snow that fell last night. So as you can see, we have a couple different things to worry about in the snowpack. And even though you're unlikely as a person to be able to get force this deep to trigger this layer, if it does go, it's going to be a really large avalanche. And some of these smaller failures up here could push enough snow down the slope to add more weight to it to be a big trigger for this layer. 